Hey everyone, Edie here. Okay, uh, let me tell you a little bit about what's happened in just the last few days. Um, I went on a wonderful workshop teaching weekend uh, to ASU. It was amazing. The kids are just phenomenal. I, I just can't wait to go back. David Olarte, he, is, he has literally um, just completely turned around the Latin dance scene out there um, at the college and at the university actually and um, I didn't know that ASU was so huge it's like the largest school in the nation they have 88,000 students the workshops were packed um, I had an amazing time teaching um, I taught my world famous lightning spins class it was phenomenal we had awesome time social dancing but let me tell you a little bit about what happened um, when I got off the plane, I mean, I felt amazing, right? When I got off the plane um, the next morning, something happened to my left knee. Now, as you know, I've had issues with my right knee. I tore the meniscus, the ACL, um, and something else. I can't remember all this terminology. Anyway, I was out for almost a year until I decided to go get stem cells. Um, the uh, it worked the stem cells worked the amniotic stem cells worked I did not um, I when I went and had the bone marrow as you guys know um, they got better for a little while about 80% and then they it just fell apart again so in my DNA I think I am supposed to have bad knees after after the age of 50 50 right well let's just say 50 so um, when I got off the airplane, I started feeling like my left knee, I started feeling like the lower half from here down, I started feeling like that part was falling off my leg. It's the exact same feeling that I had with my right knee a year ago or a year and a half ago. And what that was after the MRI was a torn meniscus um, and I don't even know how I did it. I was just like, I got up and bam, my knee went out, right? And so over the past maybe couple, I would say couple of weeks or a few weeks, my left knee has been kind of like bothering me a little bit, you know, just like uh, slightly, but I just ignored it, you know, oh, I'll continue to eat vegan foods and all this stuff. And it was doing great for the last year and a half, you know. But, um, God, even when I knock it right now, I'm feeling like this. I'm feeling something inside is not, is not, it, it's, it's, it should be like this when I knock it, but I feel it's like separated somehow or something, you know? So anyway, um, I can feel like a hollowness. Whereas in, in this one that had the amniotic stem cells, I feel it very solid. But this one... You can even f hear the difference, it's crazy. So anyway, um, there's something going on with my left knee, right? And it, it's identical to what happened. But the thing is, is that when, that when that started happening with my right knee, I didn't go into the doctor, I just said, oh, it'll go away. I waited several, a couple months, and as it, it slowly got worse and worse and worse, and I think, um, I ripped the meniscus and I did not realize it's somehow doing something, I don't know. And then after it rested and it settled down, that's when it started to really get, really get bad. So I waited too long. The rip got worse and worse. The ACL got worse and worse torn. When I went in last year, uh, they said that I would have to have both knees replaced, but I didn't really feel anything on my left knee. I said, why do I have to have both knees replaced? And they said, because you don't have any more cartilage in your knees. I thought, oh, snap. <laughs> That's not good, especially for a dance instructor, you know. And so um, when I got off the airplane yesterday, I felt like the same thing was happening to this knee. So I immediately called Dr. Dean Jones at West to North and I said, I need to schedule a stem cell with you. Um, and he said, come right in, we'll take care of you, which is awesome, okay? So um, I'm gonna go in today 
and get my stem cell injection. I, I think I might even videotape it so I'll let you guys see um, how it's done. It's just one injection. It's like a flu shot, you know, except I've, I've never had a flu shot, but I don't want anything, any flu bugs around me. But anyway, um, I'll show you how that's done. So I'm going to go in today and yesterday, actually the day before yesterday, so it was Monday night. I haven't eaten anything since Monday night and it's now Wednesday. Now let me tell you why. Okay. I've just been drinking. Where's my water? Oh no, I lost my water. So anyway, check this out. The reason why I have not eaten is because I'm going to go on a one, two, three, maybe a three to five. If I can make it to seven days, I'm going to go on a water fast. The reason is, is because I've been studying online. When you fast, you, you get to a point, your body gets to a point where it depletes all its glycogen stores and all the, and, and what it does is it starts to regenerate white, white blood cells after about three days. And um, this is my second and a half day of the fast. So I stopped eating, not last night, but the night before. So this is like my, I guess, second and a half day of the fast. And what happens is that when your body depletes its glycogen stores and whatnot, it, gets, it starts to regenerate white blood cells. And what that does is it starts to clean out any bad bacteria, any bad cells, because it realizes that it's not getting any food. And so what it does, it starts to clean house and just starts to get rid of all this crap in your system. And um, um, it regenerates your immune system. It regenerates your um, body to where now you can feel like, wow, I really need to go get food, you know? And so it's awesome. It's an awesome feeling because I've had the hardest time with my eyes, okay? Like you can see little maybe dark circles. And my eyes for the past, I would say, six, seven years have been super dry. Ever since I moved to Colorado, it's like, oh my God, it's so dry here. I have to squirt like eye drops in my eye and it wasn't until I discovered castor oil for my eyes because it was costing me a lot of money to go to the eye doctor to get all these this stuff for my dry eyes so I just buy castor oil now and I put a drop in each one but last night actually this morning my eyes were watering and I thought what's up with that my eyes have never watered in the morning as after a after sleeping. So I'm really hoping that this water fast is getting rid of any bad bacteria or anything, any little microbes or whatever that were either behind my eyes or somewhere in my eyes that were prohibiting the actual fluids to come out of the pores of the eyes, okay? And it was really funny because um, I think you guys saw in one YouTube video, I took my toothbrush, my vibrating toothbrush, and I put it underneath my eyes right here and I could feel a little pop here and a pop there. And I thought, oh my God, I thought a hair was coming out, but it actually was, it was almost like a zit popping out or something. It's because my eye, eye pores were clogged for so many years, maybe putting on makeup, you know, anything gross gets in there. And when I, when I put the castor oil in and I use the vibrating toothbrush, you know, it, the actual pores opened up and that really was a relief and now this morning when I woke up I'm like oh my god my eyes are watering that hasn't happened in like I would say several months that one time uh, when I quit drinking coffee six months ago I know Edie actually stopped drinking coffee can you believe it I was intravenously like connected to Starbucks anyway Six months ago that happened when I stopped drinking coffee. Uh, the third day after my third migraine headache, I quit cold turkey. What To drink, to quit coffee, you need to like, if you're at five cups a day, reduce it to four, reduce it to three, two, one, etc. I just, bam, cold turkey. 10 cups a day to zero, right? Migraines up the wazoo, but I feel so much better. I don't need coffee. It, coffee just smells good to me and 
you know, the aroma is incredible, but I don't really, from, from what I, how addicted I was, you know, the dopamine effect of that, it was like taking heroin every day. So I stopped that, okay? Um, and that's the, the third day is when my eyes watered and I realized, wow, I just went through some sort of cleanse, right? But then my eyes didn't water anymore for six months. And this morning, I'm going through another cleanse in a sense, this water fast. And um, my eyes watered this morning, so I'm so happy. So this just motivates me to do it even more, you know, so this is my second day. And um, so I'm gonna go in today and go get a stem cell injection. And um, it's gonna be in the exact same place that they did the other one because it's identical. So they already have, you know, all the MRIs and everything to take a look at where to do it. Um, so I can't wait for that. So I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel. Yesterday, I felt hungry. Uh, I was at the Apple store and I almost fell asleep. I just wanted to sleep and um, So because I just didn't have the energy, you know, the natural sugar the potatoes um, The vegetables that I've been eating They say it's a lot easier for a vegan to do a water fast than it is for um, a standard American diet sad a sad American <laughs> to do a water fast. So I'm looking forward to this fast not being so bad um, because I'm not eating any chemicals or anything. My vow was to not eat anything with a label or to at least try my damnedest. I think I've had one thing with a label in the past six months, but I can't even remember what that was. Um, thanks to Chef AJ, I've been able to figure out how to do this vegan thing in a very tastefully way. <clears throat> and I've even convinced my husband to do it. Of course, he'll, he'll go out and still eat meat or whatever, but when it's in the house, it's in your mouth, and it's in his mouth, so um, I've been doing that. Also, I wanna show you something. I've been doing greens, like this. I just put this on the window. I've been sprouting. Isn't this cool? Isn't this beautiful? These are alfalfa sprouts, and how they start is like this. You take some seeds, alfalfa seeds, right? And you put two tablespoons in the bottom of a mason jar, and you leave it for like a day with water, and it releases in all the enzymes, which is really cool. And so seeds can last, you know, thousands and thousands of years, but as soon as you put water in them, um, I put a screen here. As soon as you put water in them, they release and they all of a sudden become alive. So this is in my dark pantry for about two days until I start seeing some sprouts and some green and then I'll put it in the sunlight. And once I put it in the sunlight, they really start to sprout. So I'm gonna make a sandwich, sandwich with these. Look how good this looks. Hold on just a minute. Let me go get my sandwich that I made my husband. These are the sandwiches I make my husband. And um, they're filled with hummus, uh, vegan mayonnaise, and Ezekiel 4-9 bread that I toast. And he loves these. When he gets home, he just loves these. When I make, when I make it for me, I usually put it in a salad, okay? And um, it's awesome. And you know what's, what's cool is that yesterday, Sensei Fabian is here from Austin. And we've been, I've been teaching him how to cook vegan because he just became a vegan two weeks ago. And um, he has not gotten any altitude sickness out here. Usually when people come to Colorado, they like sleep for three days because they're so like, I need coffee, right? Because the air is so thin, um, especially where we live. I'm at 8,000 feet and he's staying with my mom right now. She's at 6,000. And um, he has not, he's been so full of piss and vinegar, fire energy, all this stuff because of the way I've been feeding him, you know. Uh, my mom has a little kitchen downstairs and so we got him an Instant Pot, an air fryer, all that stuff that you guys have been seeing in my videos. And um, so he's had so much energy. Not only is he teaching um, at night, we're, we're practicing all day, but he's also going to um, like Zook and Kizumba parties afterward, you know, it's, it's pretty funny. So he's had so much energy just from the food and he's just been eating pure vegan, no oil, no sugar, no salt, 
no flour, no alcohol, no animal products. So that's SOFAS, S-O-F-A-S. -S. No salt, no oil, no flour, no animal products, no alcohol, and no sugar. And um, he feels phenomenal. So he's completely changing the way he's eating. So, okay, so anyway, about the fast. Yesterday I felt really, really tired, right? And um, this morning, I did, and then last night, I didn't feel hungry at all. I wore, when I was cooking for Fabian, I wore, so that I wouldn't eat anything, I, I brightened my teeth, see how white they are? I brightened them with those crest strips and other strips that I got. They're kind of expensive, but it's worth it, right? And so I wore those, the, the strips so I wouldn't even have, be tempted to drink anything that wasn't water. And it was really good. And when you have a focus and when you have a plan, like my plan is to regenerate my body, right? My plan is that when they inject the stem cells, all of the other stem cells in my body are starting to be activated now because they realize the white blood cells are saying, okay, stem cells, let's, let's rejuvenate, let's get going because this woman is not feeding us. So now we've got to get enough strength and power to go search for food. And that strength and power that's gonna go search for food we need you guys to wake up. <laughs> and I guess when you're always eating, always eating all the time, your cells get kind of lazy, lethargic, blah, blah, blah. They just kind of go, Ugh. and that's how we age faster. So this is the first time I've ever done a fast, okay? And so I'm gonna see what happens. Um, this morning I woke up, I wasn't hungry, but as soon as I came downstairs to drink my water and do laundry, I started feeling really hungry. So, um, they say that if it gets like out of control, hungry, and you just feel like you're shaking, to have some apple cider vinegar, a teaspoon in your water. But I'm, I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna see if I can actually just go pure distilled water. And we have distilled water here because our normal water has like uranium in it or something crazy. So we, we're, we're kind of live off grid a little bit. So we're, our well, doesn't produce good water, so we have a distiller here. We ran out of water the other day, so I, our well is drying up. That's why I'm praying for more snow. Um, anyway, so that's it. Um, I, will got, I will let you guys know how I feel later on in the day, and then we'll just go from there. Okay, so this is Edie the Salsa Freak um, on her water fast journey and on her healing journey of her knees, knee, knee now. Okay, see you later.